North Central and Matia at the Naperville North Regional 120 Championship. Steven Splane and Juan Ramirez, 2-2 in the second. Ramirez with the leg, but Splane stops, drops, and rolls to two points in a victory, 6-5. 145 title bout, Nick McDonald and West Aurora's Nate Peelstrom. Scoreless in the first, Peelstrom tries for the leg slightly, but McDonald uses this move to spin around for two, 9-5 final. Mustang Eddie Gonzalez missed weight at 145, now up at 160. Third place match, Red Hawk Tom Matranga with a double underhook gets Gonzalez down. Matranga 8-2. 170 title, Steven Frankie, Eric Krieger, 1-0 Frankie in the third. Krieger can't escape, he's ridden all period. Frankie wins. 285 now a DVC rematch, Colin Goble and Austin Beebe. Six period overtime, 5-4 Beebe, Goble needs a takedown. He shoots, but Beebe able to counter and get position for two points. 7-4, Beebe wins. 195 championship now, Red Hawk Ryan Berg and DGS's Mark Clark. 1-0 Clark in the third. Berg trying to escape. Clark gets called for stalling after bringing him down. Berg gets one point plus an escape point to win 2-1. Central wins a team title by a point. It's just an amazing feeling. I mean, we all knew that we had a really good chance of becoming the regional champions. Um, we really had to put it to the test today. Um, Downers Grove South and, geez, everybody in this regional was really giving us a tough time. But, I mean, to our guys in the practice room, they absolutely kicked their butts and they got us ready for this whole tournament and I couldn't be more proud of them. Really, it goes to everybody right now on the team, and we're just super excited. These boys have overcome a lot of adversity. They've gotten better and better all year, and it's been a Cinderella story. Even when I first started wrestling, I've always dreamed of making it to the state level, and just having everything that I've worked flash before my eyes before that match, just all of it coming together just pushed me over the top, and it means more than I could ever explain. Going into, obviously, the championship match, you know you're already going to sectionals, so that's nice, but getting the first place, Allows you, obviously, a much better seed at sectionals. It gives you a buy first round, much better chance of going to state, which is the ultimate goal. Nikki's one of the most explosive, powerful wrestlers uh, we've ever had on this team. Freshman year, he was one match away from going to state. He was sidelined. Sophomore year, he still won the DVC title. Sidelined all of last year. We didn't even see him on the mats. So every match we get Nikki back for is a gift. And he's one of the most coachable, hardworking kids. And he has something that a lot of people don't have. He has these amazing hip reflexes. I think it's from playing hockey, where if you take a shot on him, you'd either, you, you better score or be willing to eat mat, because that's what the first three seconds feels like. And then what was nice about that match, too, with Peelstrom is he kept shooting those outside singles, low single outside single, because we knew if he locked up with Peelstrom that he was going for a ride. That's you, you know, that's that's insane. You don't lock up with a kid like that who's got five point moves handing out like candy. So, yeah, Nick, I, Nicky's so much fun to watch. He moves so much. He changes levels. He wrestles again, and there's other kids I've said this about, so I'm not trying to rehash a quote. But Nicky wrestles as like I tell people I used to wrestle, but I didn't wrestle like that. I pretty much got one takedown and then rode the wrist for four minutes till they called me for stalling. But I like to tell people I wrestled like him.